finding the right bike trailer, it's a tough job. I know I've been there. I have tested all of the major bike trailers on the market since my kids were infants uh, for the last six, seven plus years. And uh, I have tested them all. And this video, my only goal is to stack them up against each other and help you pick the right trailer. These are the best bike trailers on the market for every situation, depending on if you have kids, how many kids you have, if you're looking for a budget option, if you're looking for the highest end bike trailer, these are all the options. I've tested them all and this is what I have for you. So we're gonna cover the five top bike trailers depending on your situation. The first one is gonna be the best budget bike trailer if you're on a budget. The second one is going to be the best trailer only bike trailer if you're looking for a trailer uh, for double seats. And the third, op the third trailer is going to be the best of the best high-end trailer for rough terrain riding, for gravel riding, mountain riding, etc. The fifth option is going to be the best stroller convertible uh, bike trailer, which is my perfect personal favorite, hands down. And then the fifth option is going to be the the best trailer only for a single seat bike trailer for just one child, all right? So this is gonna be stacking them up all against each other. And on top of that, if you are looking for an individual in-depth review, a hands-on review for all these trailers, I'm gonna put links uh, down below that you can actually watch me go through all the trailers and show you with them all, all right? Also, before we get started, if this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. It helps more people find it. And also, you know, this is where we're talking about how to make biking part of our daily lives and just stop the, the insanity of, of how much we're driving all the time as a culture. Did you guys know that half in America, in the United States, half of all of all car trips in America are under four miles. Under four miles. That is insane. This blow, blew my mind. Four miles, guys, is easily bikeable, easily even runnable, especially even, though, even if we have kids, if we're commuting to work, anything like that. This is so doable. And just imagine the impact uh, on our health and our wealth and our environment. If we just decided anything under four miles, we're going to bike. We could instantly cut in half the amount of cars in the road. That is crazy, all right? So that's what we're talking about here. So if that's you, subscribe, like, like the thing and all that, all right? All right, so get us started um, on the budget option. So before I talk about this, my recommended bu budget option, just want to say overall, I don't recommend getting a budget bike trailer. I don't for the main reason that there are so many better options that are just a significantly better riding experience for you, but especially for, for a child. It's just one of those things where if you just go with the budget option, they, they're just more flimsy, less comfortable, more importantly, and just more cumbersome to get in and get out and attach to a bike. And overall, you're just not gonna use it as much as you would if you just invested a little bit more, maybe 100 or $200 more uh, on, a, on a really high quality, a better quality trailer that I'm gonna be talking about in this video that is just gonna meet all your needs and just your kids are gonna like it a lot more and you're just gonna use it more. And, and you know, if you think of this as an investment in your children or in yourself or in your health or in your, your finances, then it's really important to get something that you're actually gonna use. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a commodity that you keep in your, in your garage or in your shed and just collects dust. So be sure to invest in the trailer that's right for you, but don't be afraid to invest in something that's, that's really gonna be used long-term into the future and not just gonna, gonna break, all right? All right, so the first option we're talking about, best budget bike trailer. All right, here we go. So best budget is gonna be the Schwinn Trail Blazer. All right, so the Schwinn Trail Blazer specs are that it starts at $170. Uh, it has a double or single seat option, which is great for us if you're looking for double or single. single. It has stroller conversion only on the double seater, all right? And the double seater is significantly more expensive it's actually 300 300 dollars i'm going to get that to that in just a second it's 300 dollars for the double seater at least right now on amazon the the schwindroy uh, trailblazer has a weight capacity of 80 pounds which is good uh 80 pounds is enough for basically any any rider so the trailblazer is it's okay. Uh, the main reason I, I recommend this one for budget is because most people that see look for budget option, they immediately go to Amazon and they look at the in-step bike trailer. Um, the Schwinn, the Trailblazer Blazer is on Amazon. All these options are on Amazon if that's important consideration to you, but they can also be purchased elsewhere as well. I'll put links, links down below to all of these. So the in-step trailer, which you probably have seen, is a terrible bike trailer and you shouldn't get it. <laughs> the bottom line. It is so it is so terrible and I cannot believe how popular this thing is. The main reason being, for a few reasons, but it is, number one, it is not comfortable for kids. It's just really flimsy. The seats are, are very plasticky and mesh material and it, it's a hammock style. It's just not a good riding experience for the kids. The wheels are terrible. They're 
16 inches, which is not a good size for a bike trail. You really want to go for 20 inches. And they're plastic. I mean, my goodness, why would they make them plastic? This is like the only trailer in, on the planet that has plastic wheels and everyone is raving over on Amazon and all the, all the reviews are great. But any, I mean, if you just get a better bike trailer than, than this one, you're just gonna have a better riding experience. I don't recommend the Instep, but the, tra the Trailblazer is a good option if you must get a tra uh, budget option. But watch that, watch the rest of these, these uh, trailers because they're gonna blow your mind. So I mentioned before that the Trailblazer has a double seated stroller convertible option for $300. And I don't recommend getting that one, mainly because for $300 or a little bit more, you can get a better quality trailer that's not of this, you know, this uh, it has better features and better function than the Trailblazer. And I would just recommend that. And that brings us to the next one. So second absolute best bike trailer on the market is the Burley B, all right? If you're looking for a trailer that is just really good at being a trailer and doesn't have stroller conversion, it's a double seater then this is the best option. It is really high quality. I mean, it's, and the main reason it's so good is it's really affordable. It's only $300. Like this thing should, should be priced way higher, like $500, $600, but it's only $300. It's super lightweight. I mean, I'm talking 20 pounds right now. Uh, it's 20 pounds, which is significantly lower than any other trailer out there. It's actually the lowest of the lowest. And that's really important consideration if you're riding with kids because you know the heavier it is, the harder it is to pull uphill and, and ride in general. It has a weight capacity of 80 pounds. Great, fantastic, high weight limit. Uh, the, 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 the cover that covers it is very high quality mesh. Now, I don't particularly like the, the kind of uh, plasticky or, or mesh materials that flop over to, to cover the trailer. I do prefer something really in awesome, like the, the next uh, the trailer that I'm gonna talk about later. Um, that's my personal favorite, but this one will do for the Burley B because the quality of the mesh is very good. It's very sturdy, it's strong, uh, it's not gonna rip, and it really kind of clips on or, or kind of hooks onto the trailer when you close it. It's really easy to just open and close for the kids to go in and out. But they also, the other thing that the Burley B does really well is has really fantastic wheels. Now the wheels on, on all Burley trailers are just really solid, really sturdy. They're 20 inches, the ideal gold standard for bike trailer wheels. They're strong, they just, if you, you won't have any issues going over rough terrain or rocks or, or bumps in the road or anything like that, just more comfortable experience. The seats are sturdy, bench style seats for the kids to, to sit in. It's just a good experience. It's got a lot of interior space. And also it looks awesome. It looks like a, a transformer or it's gonna turn to a robot or something. It's so cool. Uh, it's just how it functions, but also how it looks. I really do recommend that. The main uh, kind of competition, the competitor or Another option that you might consider would be the Thule Cadence if you're looking for a, tra a trailer only. So the Thule Cadence versus the Burley B, all right? The Thule Cadence is, is uh, Thule is a really high-end brand. This is probably their cheapest bike trailer that they, they have. It's just about $330 on Amazon. It's a little more expensive than the Burley B, but I do recommend the Burley B over the Thule Cadence, mainly because it's just better quality materials, the, the, the mesh is, is a better quality, the seats are much better quality than the Cadence, and also in general, I do prefer Burley's attachment system over the Thule attachment system, especially if you have disc brakes or a through axle, disc, a through axle bike, then you're gonna have issues with a Thule bike trailer uh, with disc brakes because you're gonna have to get an, you're going to have to get an attachment to use the uh, Thule bike trailer on your bike. Uh, but with a Burley bike trailer, you there's a really good chance that you won't need any attachments to attach to a bike um, d disc brake through axle bike, and that's the main reason I, I generally prefer Burley bike trailers over Thule. Overall, the Burley B is just a really excellent trailer. There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't have stroller conversion, uh, but if you want stroller conversion conver conversion on your trailer, then watch the next two. Uh, strollers that I'm going to talk about in this video. And also, if you want a full review, a hands-on review of the Burley B, then check out the video down below. It's going to be just everything you need to know about this trailer, all right? Okay, so the next trailer to talk about, the third best top bike trailer on the market, hands down, and this is getting exciting, is the Thule Chariot Cross. Now, the Thule Chariot Cross is the high-end bike trailer. If you're looking for a trailer that does it all, rough terrain riding, mountain riding, gravel riding, cobblestone riding, uh, is an excellent, super good stroller, convertible stroller, it's just super comfortable, best quality materials, super comfortable for kids. If you're looking for the whole package, guys, then get the Thule, uh, the Thule Chariot Cross. It's just a super good bike trailer on the higher end uh, price spectrum. So the Thule Chariot Cross comes in at $1,100. 
uh, for the single right now and then $1,200 for the double trailer. So I know it's a high-end trailer. There are some options that I'll mention that are of similar quality, but a little cheaper. Stick around for that. Uh, in a nutshell, the Thule Chariot Cross is a double seater or a single seater. It's a stroller. It, uh, oh man, the stroller conver conversion is just excellent. It has two wheels in the front, swiveling wheels. There aren't actually many bike trailers that have two wheels. It's always usually one. This is just an excellent stroller. It has the massive 20 inch wheels that just go over anything. It has the the cover on it is, is not like a mesh thing that just flops over and you open it. It's actually a zipper, a really strong zipper uh, for a bike trailer. I personally don't really like a zipper. I just kind of scared like the zipper might break, you know, like on a jacket or something. If you if you break a zipper, it's really hard to fix it. But on the Chuli Cherry Cross, uh, I will give them credit because it's a really like strong zipper, like something you'll find on more like a strong industrial <laughs> zipper. Uh, the seats are very comfortable. I mean, they went all out on the on the padding and the just comfort and the space, interior space on the trailer. It has for the stroller. It has the the handlebars. The handlebar, big handlebar on the top that you can just you can actually move it up and down depending on the height you want. It has really good storage in the back and in the front that you can put things. It's just got everything going for it. The only thing that you can have an issue with is the price range, of course. <laughs> it's eleven hundred, twelve hundred dollars. If you have the budget for it, this is the best of the best. All right. And then the there are a few options that you can consider. The main competitor with the Thule Chariot Cross would be Bur the Burley Delight bike trailer, all right? So the Burley Delight bike trailer, it's it's kind of Burley's high-end bike trailer. It ranges from $750 to $850 right now, depending on single or double and different features. The main reason I would probably go with the Thule Cherry Cross as opposed to this is because of the stroller convertible. So the Burley Delight has a single swiveling wheel on the front that attaches to the to the hitch arm of the bike trailer. I don't personally like those uh, strollers that have the wheel on the the arm. I think it's a bit flimsy and it's hard to kind of push it over things. And it looks, it, I mean, it looks kind of weird as well. Uh, it just doesn't look like a natural stroller. So, so for that reason, but also because it doesn't really operate, the, the Burley Delight doesn't really operate as a stroller uh, in terms of being able to like fold it flat, you know, and just, just compress it like a stroller would. And so if you want to put it in the trunk, of a car you could but it's a little more tedious and involved but with the Thule cherry cross it's just simple push some buttons on the side it just compresses fully and you can just put that somewhere for in the garage or in the shed or in the back of your trunk of your car or whatever so that's what it but also guys there's another option that people don't know about it really underrated right now is that Thule has another bike trailer that is almost identical but a few hundred dollars cheaper than the cross all right it's called the Thule chariot light so the chariot light is like a younger brother or younger sister of the Chariot Cross. It comes in at just $900, uh, starting at $900, which is a, a significant a few hundred dollars cheaper. And it's almost exactly the same, except for a few places, all right? Um, the main thing being that it's, the, the color obviously is different. You have different color options with the Chariot Light. And some other differences between the Light and the Cross is that the Light seats, the seats on the Light don't recline like they do on the Cross. So the Cross uh, has, the higher end one, the Cross has reclining seats that go down, go back a little bit for the kids. It's not so much, it's not a significant amount, so I wouldn't really worry about this one. But the, on the Light, they don't recline. So that's the main uh, difference between the Light and the Cross. And the other main difference is the suspension. So we haven't talked about suspension yet, but the, the Chariot Cross and the Light have suspension which means that they just it's more comfortable ride for kids if you're going doing any mountain or or gravel riding and this is what really makes it a high end bike trailer this is it is that the suspension is there on on, on the cross the difference in the suspension is that on the cross you can uh, adjust the level of suspension or the amount of suspension with a little little slider and on the light it's a fixed suspension level that you can't change all right if that's important to you that's something to consider overall personally i would actually recommend getting the chariot light because it's a few hundred dollars cheaper and it doesn't really it, you know getting the cross doesn't really add much more benefit than the light unless you're, do, you're planning to do really heavy like mountain or gravel riding then yeah i would get the chariot chariot cross but for most people the chariot light is a perfectly suitable bike trailer and they both come in single seat and, and double seat trailers again i'm going to put a full review of the chariot cross right down below and you can check that out when you're ready all right so that brings us to the fourth top five bike trailers on the market and this one is the best stroller convertible 
bike trailer on the market. This one is my personal favorite. I cannot rave enough about this trailer, all right? This is called the Schwinn Joyrider. So the Schwinn Joyrider is of a kind of mid-range price range, about $490 right now. But hold on, there is a reason why I recommend this trailer to almost everyone, and that is the massive protective cage that is just cocooning the kids when they're riding. It is just so cool. It looks like a spaceship, uh, something from the future, but it's also extremely safe and extremely convenient. I mean, for safety, right? It's these metal bars that surround the kids in the event that the bike trailer rolls over, we crash or anything. It's never happened. Never. I don't think it ever will I'll ever come close to that. Bike trailers are very safe to ride with. But in the event of anything, I'm so confident that those, those metal cage bars are just gonna protect my kids. And that's the main reason I like it. But also, it's so easy to open. It just flops open and closed like that. And then you can latch it on at the bottom and you can unlatch it and open. The kids jump in, you close it. It's so convenient. But also, not only as a trailer, but as a stroller. This thing is so good to ride around with as a stroller. It's got the massive 20 inch wheels. It's got the one wheel in the front and you can just push over easily over, over curbs, over bumps, over rocks, over anything like that. And it's just a really good stroller. It's comfortable, it's wide, so the kids have enough space to comfortably fit. It's got a lot of interior space. If you need to put a bag or snacks or water or anything like that in the, in the, in the front at hand. And also has storage in the back, so little pockets in the back and also right above the giant handlebar, which is super convenient. There's like little pockets where you can put snacks in your phone and all that while you're pushing on the stroller. The, the handlebar itself kind of uh, is adjustable depending on your height. It's just an excellent trailer and a, a, a stroller as well, okay? There's no reason you shouldn't consider this trailer. I really recommend it to anybody who's looking for a stroller convertible bike trailer. Almost everyone I recommend. This this solves so many problems for people, all right? It has a high weight limit of 100 pounds, 100 pounds. You know, with two kids, you're not gonna hit that, but that's awesome to have a 100 pound uh, weight limit. And the main competitor or option alternative to this would be the, the Burley Honey Bee. Now the Burley Honey Bee is kind of a bright red bike trailer by Burley. And the, the main, I mean, there are many reasons I, re, I recommend the Schwinn Joyrider over this one. The main being that that it has that giant metal cage. It just opens and closes. It's not this tedious mesh material that cover that you have to kind of put over and, and put back on. And also the stroller is just better. I mean, the the, the Honey Bee has uh, that that arm attached, the, the, the wheel, the front wheel that attaches to the arm. In general, I just don't like those. It looks weird and it's hard to, to push it over things. So definitely get the Schwinn Joyrider over that. So if you're looking for a full review of the Schwinn Joyrider, check out that video right down below. I'll just talk to you and walk you through it and you can figure out if it's the right trailer for you all right so that leads us to number five the the, the fifth uh, best bike trailer on the market and this is the best trailer if you're looking for a single seat bike trailer that is really good at being a trailer only does not have stroller conversion and that would be the burly minnow okay so before you you wonder why anybody would or why you would get a a single seat only bike trailer only <laughs> bike trailer Think about this. So other than the obvious reason that you only have one kid, this is a good option. But also when it comes to bike trailers, weight is really important. And the Burley, the Burley Minnow is really light. It's about 22 pounds. And it's just a good option if, you're, if you want something that's very minimalist, looks great, functions excellently like Burley trailers all do, and is just a really good minimalist option for you, all right? It's, it costs $280, which is super affordable. I mean, this is basically almost like budget level, like almost under $200 a bike trailer. It's a single seater, doesn't have stroller conversion, like I said. It has a pretty high weight limit for a single stroller. It's 75 pounds for this bike trailer. The really, the standout feature on this is the green color. This really got this cool green, uh, like a like a plant kind of green, and I just really like how it looks. It has these really sturdy, wheels the 20 inch wheels that i'm raving about burley's uh, wheels because they're just really solid and really really strong and it's just a really smooth ride when you're riding with it it's very smooth it's it's minimalist it's lightweight it's narrow uh you know because it's just a single seat so if you're looking for something that's just easy to pull this is such a good option so the main competitor or comparison with the burley minnow is that it's very interesting is actually the the burley b which we talked about just earlier as being the best doubles uh, double seater trailer so the burley burley recently very recently launched a single seat uh, option for the Burley B. All right. Now this is interesting because the price of the single seat Burley B is exactly the same as the price for the Burley Minnow, 280 bucks right now on Amazon. So why would Burley make two uh, different bike trailers that almost operate exactly the same? They're both single seats. They're both trailer only. They're both by Burley. They have the same uh, weight, uh, wheel sizes. 
So why would they do that? My feeling, my gut feeling is that I think Burley is going to be pushing the Burley B more and just investing more into it as, as their kind of premium uh, trailer or kind of a mid-range trailer for for single and for double seats. And I think they might either discontinue the minnow or they're going to up the price on it for some reason. I don't know. I just have a feeling that like the Burley minnow, uh, the Burley B is really the way to go for, for a single seater. So if you want to check out a full review, hands-on review of the Burley minnow and the Burley B, actually, I'm going to put the videos right down below and you can check them out. So that's the five top bike trailers. I really just want to make this easy for you guys. I want you to make the best decision that's right for your family. Uh, if you're looking for the best budget trailer, get the Schwinn Trailblazer, but also I don't recommend getting a, a budget trailer. Just don't get that freaking in-step bike trailer. I just can't stand <laughs> why people are, are pushing this one so much if you're looking for the best the best trailer only uh really good at being a trailer then get the burly b it's such a fantastic trailer if you're looking for the high-end trailer that does everything great for rough rough terrain riding for mountain riding gravel riding whatever get the Thule chariot cross or the chariot light which are basically almost identical you can depend uh choose which one you want and then if you're looking for the best stroller convertible i mean this joy rider the schwinn joy rider is so incredible it's just so underrated check that out and then also if you're looking for the best single seat uh, trailer only, then get the Burley Minnow. All right, I'm going to put links to all of these videos down below if you want to get them. Amazon, also videos to check out a, kind of a hands-on review of, of me going through them and showing you all the specs and all of that. So if this video was helpful, guys, give it a thumbs up so more people, people can find it. Also, this is the channel where we're talking about how to make biking part of your lives and how to just make it a priority to take the kids out and, and drive less and bike more. So if that's you, subscribe and, and join us. All right, thanks for watching. Take care.